All right, so this is the inside of the garage downstairs. So uh, you can see it doesn't really have a ceiling to it. And uh, that was where the hole was from up upstairs. So uh, it's got one window over here and a window over here. Uh, and there is a door in the very back of it that would go out to where the pool area is. So you can see how big the garage is. I think it's 30 by 40, something along those lines. So you got plenty of space here. You could probably make a garage part of it and then uh, half of it you could use as living space, maybe kitchen, living room, and then uh, bedrooms. If you can get those rafters all worked out structurally uh, to make a bedroom upstairs and you could make this into something. So it's not nearly as bad as I thought. It's just open studs. So. Uh, who knows? I'll go outside now. This is the side of the garage. So you can see how high the roof line is. There's Tracy and the realtor out in front. So it's a pretty high roof. And then this is the property line, kind of where that pole is there, the edge of the wooden fence. And it goes all the way out to the street. So you got lots of front yard space. And then as you go into the back, obviously the fencing is all coming down. Termites, all that fun stuff. But you've got plenty of open space. Um, lots of uh, jungle, I'll call it. Um, but you do have it cleared through here. Uh, she didn't say how big the lake was, but she did say it was a lake back here uh, and you basically have waterfront with one side or the other uh, I have to get a number of linear feet but you could potentially get you a boat down into here I wouldn't recommend the 45 footer but you get you a 20 footer in here and tool around go fishing just hanging out on the lake uh, down that direction uh, is uh, south direction uh, it goes out into another lake and that kind of stuff. So you got lots of areas. She said some of it goes 60, 80 feet deep uh, in places. So it's not a shallow lake, so to speak. Here's another little area here. So plenty of place to put in a dock of some sort so you can tie up a boat. They did build this, but it's uh seen its better days probably need to be removed because it's all uh rickety i started walking up there and went uh yeah no not gonna happen but you can see it's a little overgrown everywhere which kind of adds to the secluded florida area but you got a little area out here all cleared if you cleared a little more you'd have a nice little party area like you said a gazebo or something like that uh, outdoor kitchen that kind of thing and this is the pool. Uh, pool equipment's back over there. And you got your hot tub. She said the pool is heated, so you could use it all year long. But uh, like we talked, I would put a screen enclosure over it uh, just to keep all the debris out. Uh, you can see the white door back of the garage. And then you got this whole area. There's the other side of that rickety deck. And then I'll show you the screen porch area. Needs some work on it, but a lot of it does. Some flooring out here. Uh, this door goes into the one of the bedrooms. Uh, same thing with this one. And I'll tell you which doors those are when I get in on the inside. But you got a pretty good size, probably... 25 by 30 uh, covered patio area that could be screened in so maybe you don't need the pool covered uh, but that'll be a, another decision uh, roof if you look up here the roof uh, there's some of the it's cedar so the termites don't eat cedar so but there are places where you can see the tar com tar paper coming through so that would have to be redone a little bit. And now we'll walk through the front. So 
there's the side of the garage. You can see up there. Got the little portico chair. Oh, pictures time? Yeah, <laughs> actually video time. Video? Yeah, that makes it even easier. You can see up top there. And then the property goes all the way down. Uh, there's a fence right over here. And that's kind of where the property line ends and goes straight back to the lake. So you've got probably two three hundred feet you know on the front i'm not sure what that little building is it looks like a dog house but it may not be um and we just got some other people here so i'm gonna uh, wait to do the inside but uh i'll get back to you soon